Good morning, monkeys. Welcome to another episode of Monkey Landia. Here at Coaster Monkey Studios, I know you guys are so excited to be back. If you're just joining us for the first time, this is my Let's Play series of Planet Coaster, where we are making a mega park called Monkey Landia. Yes, I know, I'm a little narcissistic. I named the park after me. Uh, for those of you that have been with us in the past, I wanna apologize uh, for getting, for taking so long to get this video out to you guys. Yes, I know, I know, I know. Well, let me tell you what happened. So I had this awesome computer, and then this awesome computer no longer existed because I had a severe computer malfunction, and I had to send it back to this massive company called Amazon, who then took an additional week to send me a new one. So here we are ha, in Monkeylandia once again. So I'm super stoked to be back, super stoked to have it back to you. Um, and let's get into the build here. So I am currently in the process of building here a firehouse, and we're calling this episode Firehouse Frenzy, right? So we're building a firehouse. This firehouse is going to house our information kiosk where you're gonna quote unquote buy your tickets, get information, whatever, whatever. And then we've also got a first aid and a bathroom here. Yes, my bathrooms. Um, so super stoked uh, to, to be back again. I have not played the game in like three weeks and I'm afraid I'm gonna go back and have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, so pray for me, Lord, pray for me. Uh, yeah, so... <laughs> um, so for this build, what I wanted to do is I wanted to have a really kitschy, very uh, over the top building off to the side. And and the idea of a firehouse came to me because, well, I mean, I love firehouses. And uh, the whole theme of this park again, right? The entryway area, you know, you always see all these entry areas looking like Main Street USA at Disney. And I wanted to do something different. So what I did was is I created a, a New York City skyline-ish in Soho, you know, obviously based on our entryway plaza, and I'm sure you guys saw, we had Grand Monkey Terminal, and then we had our Macy's Gate for our entryway, our main gate area. So this is our, this is our ticket booth slash first aid uh, location. So yeah, I'm gonna let the camera roll for a little bit, let the video play so you guys can catch this. And uh, I will check back with you in a bit with some fun information uh, going on here at the channel. Check you guys uh, in a few. All right, so as we return here into the video, guys, uh, getting into this build, so yeah, here you are. Here's our firehouse-inspired information area. So a little bit of background on this. I picked up a video or a picture of a firehouse located on 18th Street, 19th Street, 
and 8th Avenue, 7th Avenue. Wow, I am screwing this up today. A 19th Street and 7th Avenue. Uh, there's a firehouse over there. I spent a lot of time hanging out there uh, in my time in New York City. And I wanted to duplicate or kind of get the same feel as this building. So I took a picture of that building and uh, recreated it as best I could with the resources I have here in Planet Coaster. Uh, why a firehouse? Again, I wanted it to feel very New York, very different, right? Uh, so that's the whole go here, goal here. And I think I, I'm really pleased with the end product, uh, as you saw in the opening credits there. But yeah, so for this build, you know, I did a lot of different things. I wanted it to, to have a very, again, kitschy kind of feel. I wanted it to be uh, super nostalgic feeling and and I think I hit the mark on this I'm not gonna lie uh, the build pieces that you see here I use a lot of the city pieces there's a lot of cast concrete um, these are the firehouse trim elements here I tend to use throughout my builds and you'll notice as we move forward through the Soho inspired area a lot of spooky pieces a lot of trim pieces uh, for my Soho buildings again and this is all with the whole uh, ideology that I'm trying to mimic these buildings. Now, how do I mimic these buildings? Well, I find pictures online of the stuff I want to build and I just try to copy as best as possible utilizing the pieces in the game. That's probably the best advice I can give you for any of these any of these videos here or anything you want to try to do. As you see here, like this is almost the same piece and what I do, I tuck it in and look, we have just a minor little trim. Look at that, how great is that? Love that type of stuff. So let's talk a little bit about what's going on in the channel. Where have I been for the past week? Well, today is Monday, July 6th. As of Wednesday last week, July 1st, I went to Hershey Park. Uh, and I'm going to throw a link just up at the top of here. And shameless self-promotion because why not? But um, yeah, so we went to Hershey Park. We did a two-day uh, stint out there. We got a really cool vlog going on on the channel. So I'm definitely going to post that link up top so you guys can see that. And we then went from Hershey Park to Six Flags Great Adventure for their preview day, season pass preview day on Friday, which was crazy. As you can tell, my voice is a little raspy because I've been screaming for five days straight. We then went back again yesterday. Uh, we've got a vlog posted on the channel for that. And then we're going back again uh, this coming Wednesday to Great Adventure because, you know, coasters. Hello. Uh, yeah, so super stoked to, to be back in theme parks. I have to tell you, I'm really excited to see, you know, the stuff they've done in these theme parks and uh, to really protect us against COVID-19. You know, everybody's got a mask on. If you don't have a mask on, they're telling people to have masks on. They're not running the rides unless you put your mask on. Just an FYI, guys. So you have to wear one in order to participate. Um... And then uh, all of the cleaning stations that were cleaning people going around cleaning everywhere. A lot of cleaning, uh, a lot of stations around the area making sure that the park as a whole was, you know, really ready to go and, and safe for all of us. And I felt super safe. My friends felt super safe. Uh, and you guys can check it out in the vlogs. And like I said, I'll post those videos up top for you uh, to check out. And if you want to click on over there, just go over to my theme park theme park vlogs playlist and you can go in there and check those out um yes that's what i've been for the past five days you know so it's been an interesting two weeks we had no computer for a week and then we went traveling for a week going on coasters and and now we are back bringing you monkey landia so super stoked here um yeah, so back to the build here. So like I said, a lot of these trim pieces were used. We've got, and again, at this point of the game when I was playing, I was still learning the mechanics of the game and kind of how it worked. So it's a miracle I was able to create what I created. As I learn more of the game, you'll see my building style kind of refines just a little bit. Um, but I like my building style. I think it's different. I think it... It ele it's elevated, uh, and that's what I wanted to go after. I wanted it to be a realistic park with a lot of realism. And if this theme park existed in real life, it would be my theme park, you know. And this is how I would create it, you know, and how I would want that uh, guest to feel when they walk into the theme park. What does it feel? What does that all engulfing experience look like, right? So we're just packing on the packing on the layers here, and. 
again, it's all about layers. You know, I know you guys have probably heard this a thousand times from a thousand other people. I know Silva's all about it. Um, but layers, 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 guys, I cannot stress this enough. It is all about those layers. And if you make sure you get your layers in um, 100%, you're going to have a really solid build. You know, as you see, I've got, you know, exposed corners, exposed edges. I'm filling those in on a consistent basis across the board. Uh, and again, wow, I'm just going to apologize again for this voice. because I'm just raspy. Um, yeah, so I'm going to let the build go for just a bit longer here. I'm going to come on back uh, with some cool tidbits in a little bit. Check you guys then. Now, one thing I definitely want to say, if any of you guys are placing lighting throughout your park, as you saw what I did there, I turned the lights off, dimmed it down, uh, because I wanted to make sure I got the lighting correct, and that's probably the biggest piece of advice I can give you. Make sure you turn it to nighttime when you're doing your lighting, because it's going to give you the best uh, perspective of kind of what that's going to look like. And the other piece of advice I have for lighting for you guys is make sure you're dimming down the saturation. Now, how do you do that? Well, you choose the color you want to go with, and then you go into the editing tool for the coloring, and you take the gradient down into the black spectrum, not into the white spectrum, and that'll help dim it down, almost putting a darker filter over it, which is pretty awesome uh, for, for you know making sure you're minimizing the saturation of your lighting. Cannot stress that enough, super important. Uh, what I'm doing here, well, I am building the second half of the building, which is gonna be our bathroom slash first aid area, right? So what I did was I have this set, these set of buildings on a separate angle. So I created a separate building to create a more dynamic looking structure. That is probably the best piece of advice I can give you as a architect, quote unquote, in this game of Planet Coaster. You know, definitely make sure you are utilizing different angles because those different angles create 
interest and that interest is what has draws the eye over to that building to that structure to that area of of the park and that's what we wanted to create here we wanted to create interest and you'll see i did the same thing on the other side in the next video when we create our le chic restaurant yes we called it le chic because it can't be any more pretentious uh than a new yorker calling a restaurant le chic right I love New York pretension. Uh, but yeah, so here we are, we're building this out again. Same exact structure as right next to it, same exact structure and building material. Um, trying my hardest to figure out corners. Still at this point of the game, I really didn't understand corners that much and how to like fix them and, and use the corner pieces. I'm gonna have to go back and fix those corners. Cause you know, we cannot leave it like that, right? So now at this point here, I spent a lot of time fiddling. I fiddled a lot with this portion of the build. I was trying to create an information sign uh, and I wanted it to look like the one from RCT because well, hi RCT, if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't have this, right? I wanted it to look like the RCT logo and I succeeded, I liked it, but I'll be honest with you, at the end of the day, I just, I it looked too cartoony. So I wanted removing it. But you get to see me build a really cool information sign uh, with the blue coloring, so woohoo! Um, yeah, that's what happens here. Uh, we do a little bit of sign moving, sign figuring out uh, between this, the bathrooms, and the first aid. So hopefully across our fingers, uh, I get it all sorted out um, by the end of this video. <laughs> You'll have to stick around and watch as I bump the microphone. But uh, yeah, I'm going to leave you guys for a little bit more, and I'll be back in a bit. All right, so after all of that shenanigans, those shenanigans, those shenanigans, from trying to figure out how to do the information sign, what did I do? I use a street sign. Genius, blew my mind when I did it. Wow, I am just the best. No, I'm kidding. Um, but yes, yeah, so I figured I'd use a street sign. I thought that was a pretty cool idea. I wound up doubling that uh, firefighter seal also on the front of the fire house. I think that gives a little bit of a more symmetrical, cleaner look. But yeah, now we put in some, some foliage, some, some nature. We like nature. Remember, uh, green is cheap. Thank you so much, Bro Coaster, Planet Bro Coaster. The guys over at Bro Nation uh, teaching us all about nature and how nature is a thing. Nature, N-E-A-T-U-R-E, -E, uh, which I totally dig. And here I am just stealing some of those prefab blueprint trees because, you know, Nature. <laughs> I do like the boulders in this biome, though. Uh, they are some of my favorite in the game. I use them quite often. Mm -hmm. 
Now, as you see here, you look at all the different buildings I have. Oh my God, it's such a disaster. So at this point of the game, when I was playing, this is only like 48 hours into owning the game. And uh, I had no idea how to like separate buildings and, and add stuff to groupings and remove them from groupings. So uh, this is me doing a really horrible job at trying to <laughs> duplicate. <laughs> uh, you learn as you go, kids. That's what this was. But I do like the nature uh, that I do around the ponds here. Really strong. Oh, there's that duplicated seal. Uh, really strong uh, covered area. And as you see, as we get later on into the videos, and there's a whole area, unfortunately because of the broken computer, that we miss video. We lost a lot of video. So there's going to be a big jump. You guys are going to be excited because that jump, maybe it's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> but you lose a whole coaster and you lose all of its all of its terrain work. But yeah, here we are uh, just looking at lighting again and trying to figure out kind of what what we want our nature to look like. I think I'm gonna go back and again, terrain work. You've always gotta color your terrain work. That's a huge tip. Don't leave it blank green. Uh, definitely play with that terrain work and the coloring and the painting. Um, but yeah, here we are getting inside of our building, just cleaning up the walls here. I wanted a really nice clean wall set up, which I think worked out pretty well. And yeah, here we are wrapping up towards the end of the video. I'm going to give you guys some really cute glamour shots because, you know, you cannot ever go without glamour. But um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, don't forget to put them down below. Thanks so much for watching Coaster Monkey Studios here uh, uh monkey landy here at coaster monkey studios find me on facebook instagram twitter uh also on reddit coaster monkey studios again thanks so much guys and have an amazing day